So we've had a whole bunch of new little news stories in the last 24 hours involving Go Proud, which is the Gay Republican Men's Chorus. First we have them uh, getting involved in talks with Michelle Bachman, because she's sane. I mean, I'm all for having calm, rational dialogues with people, but it's very hard to have a calm, rational dialogue with people when you're dealing with someone whose bigotries, like Michelle Bachman's, are steeped in irrational nonsense. Here's the thing with Go Proud. They have a 100% fail record when it comes to changing anyone's hearts and minds about LGBT equality. I'd love to think that Go Proud is a group of, you know, gay Republicans that are working within the GOP to change hearts and minds and show Republicans that embracing LGBT equality isn't going to ruin America or bring about downfall. But that's not what Go Proud is about. Go Proud is a group of white, moneyed gay men whose parents resent them for being gay. That's pretty much all it is. These are people who, being gay, came with the connotation that they would then somehow be liberals, so their entire identity is based on convincing their families and communities that they're not like those evil lefty liberal gays that, you know, demand things like equal rights and treatment under law. Go Proud members have capers for testes. If the members of Go Proud can't even convince their own parents that they deserve to marry, why do they think they're going to convince politicians? Go Proud takes no official stance on gay marriage. Well, of course they don't. If they took an official stance on gay marriage, their parents wouldn't let them sit at the big kids' table at dinner time. Don't hate me for being gay. I'll join you in hating those gay liberals. I just want to sit at the table at dinner and make you love me again. Ugh. Why are they even a gay conservative group when they don't make LGBT equality issues a part of their raison d'etre? They don't exist to promote LGBT equality within the GOP. They exist to save their own asses. It's a group that says, hi, you know, yeah, I'm gay, but like, it doesn't define me. It's just a small part of me. And I, I detest liberals, and, and I don't like black people or Muslims, and I really care about money. Go proud. And then we have another member of Go Proud claiming this week that he was gay bashed by a bunch of black youths because nothing scares Go Proud members more than black youths. Now he didn't file a police report, and then he claimed that he like reached into his bag suggesting to take out a gun, which scared them off. So he manages to be like racist and pro-gun at the exact same time. I personally don't believe the bloody story. So we have one dude from the group claiming to have been, like, hate crime this week, which is hilarious considering Go Proud's been totally against, like, hate crime legislations. And even there's an interview that's out right now, please check it out, where Chris Barron's like, we at Go Proud don't really care about hate crimes. Uh, dude, apparently your buddy just got fucking gay bashed. Are you gonna care now? Or are you not gonna care and continue to blame gay bashing on, like, gay lefty liberal self-victimization? Speaking of self-victimization, honey bunches of oats, you have a brutal case of Stockholm Syndrome. Damn. Chris Barron of Go Proud. Dude, I feel bad for you, man. I mean, it must suck knowing that the only way your parents tolerate you is to consistently remind them how not like those lefty liberal gays you are. Not that it's done you any favors, dude. I mean, come on. I mean, it's sad. It must be devastating to know that you have parents that don't actually love and support you, but merely tolerate you on the condition that you cut off your balls to be subservient towards them. Chris Barron said that gay liberals are the American Taliban. What the fuck does that even mean? It's interesting in America, too, and I say this as someone who spent most of his life living in Canada, where you're not really born into a political voting family. The divide between Republican and Democrat, as Americans know, is super duper intense in this country. And I've asked my friends here, and people even said that coming out as gay wasn't as hard as coming out as a liberal to some of their parents. It's just so funny whenever gay men loathe liberals. Like, you were brought up to hate the very people that are solely responsible for any middling freedoms you might have today. Like, that's gotta suck to be you. To know that you owe your gay ass life to the people you were brought up to hate. Ugh. By all means, check out the interviews that are online with uh, Chris Barron and the Go Proud guys. You'll never get a straight answer from them at all. Pun intended. The fact is, they don't exist as a group that's building bridges with the GOP and the gay community. They're a group of white, self-loathing homosexual men that care about money 
whose families don't accept them. They just tolerate them, and they only tolerate them on the grounds that they consistently downplay, edit, censor, compartmentalize their homosexuality, reject any form of gay identity, and consistently throw other gays under the bus to save their own asses. It's freaking cowardly. Whatever, I hope y'all champion Bachman in 2012, because I cannot wait to see her try to enter debates. Oh, she'd be funny. Obama, term two.